key objectives to protect the collection. Now, what do you think the collection is? The paintings. Paintings. Art. The collection actually is everyone who actually comes here, and it does include the works of art. We don't want you to walk into the museum and everything to be behind glass. The trustees want you to walk into this museum and it to be like a house. So some of the security elements are over. CCTV are visible as you walk through the front entrance and as you go into the there are CCTV, there are alarms, per hours. But there are a lot of alarms which are hidden behind the scenes and that's all reported back electronically to a 24-hour control room, which is monitored. And while we're walking around, what I want you to I'm not going to say much, it's the things which you think might make the collection safe. So and then obviously we have the radios to communicate to staff on the ground to say, can you please check that? So there's a lot behind the scenes. When you left your home today, did you lock your door? Yeah. Why did you lock your door? Yeah. So you actually carry that risk assessment? It's all about lowering the risk. A lot of the situations can be damage, accidental, wheelchairs, people touching something they're not supposed to be touching. We hold events large numbers of people, and obviously fire evacuation procedures, emergency procedures are very crucial, and training for our staff to make sure that if there is an incident or there is an emergency, they deal with it correctly. A priceless 18th century future accidents can very easily happen, oh my God, there's a million quid on the We've been around the museum just looking at the pictures, seeing how the security works. But that's had 400 years of age, it's now brittle. It's now dried out. Well, I've came here with my college, Westminster Kingsway. We just came to learn about the security and how they look after the artwork and the people that come to the museum. We use a trolley. Sure. Events like this, you get to learn a lot of stuff. How do you think that night? Before today, when I came out, I was really interested in air traffic controlling. That was my main goal. But now I've actually come to learn about security. That could be my second goal. Why do you think you stopped bags coming in? I think they've got an insight to a museum where they didn't have any idea what goes on behind the scenes. Very easy in an emergency to take this. I wasn't interested in security before, but since today, I found it quite interesting actually. A little micro alarm. So I would look into security a bit more, and hopefully it might be a peripheral. It's valuable, isn't it? And vulnerable because it could smash. If I had that opportunity when I was in school, I might have been interested in museums earlier. There are a number of courses people can do in security. It's an MVQ qualification. SI licensing is there for the private sector. So there's a lot of things you can do to prepare yourself before you actually go for an interview in an organisation. Because I know, obviously, I'm not going to get a job like that. Unlike it's now, responsible. Today was out of my comfort zone, but it was really, really fun. It was really good. I learnt a lot of stuff. Walking around. I live and breathe museums and it's a trust that I'm trusted to protect this national collection and that gives me a great satisfaction that we're protecting this for the next generation. It was opened in the 19th century, it's going to be there for another 100 years for the next generation. The guy up there is Richard Wallace and oh, he... Oh, 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 oh